Welcome along guys, and well, I'm back at Wheels Motorcycles again in Peterborough. This time to test ride some used bikes. These guys sell a whole host of brand new machines, but they also sell a lot of good second-hand stock. And everyone keeps asking me, how does the GSX-R compare to the R1? So now, I've finally got my hands on the beautiful, this beautiful anniversary R1, to take you for a bit of a spin. Strap yourselves in. Listen to that. I'm in second, pulling away in second. Oh, this has got track shift on it. <laughs> oh no, this is track shift. I've never in my life ridden a bike with track shift. So straight away, it feels like you're over the bike riding position compared to my GSXR. Definitely more on your wrists. Also, the, the they feel quite close together. The handlebars are quite close together. I mean, yet your hands are quite close together. But that sound, they do sound phenomenal. Okay, so I've got to go up now. <laughs> That's going to take some getting used to. Bloody race shift. Oh, how good does it sound? It sounds so V4-like. This can't be standard. It can't sound like that standard. Oh, why didn't I bring my external recorder with me? That can't be standard. It must, it looks like the standard exhaust, but it can't be. How good does that sound? It feels light, but you just seem to be sat on it and not so much in it if that makes sense and you it is a it is a big old it's quite a compact bike but you are right over the, the nose of it as a six foot two rider I, I couldn't even get down behind that screen it actually feels more compact i think than the uh, rsv4 <laughs> it sounds beautiful oh it's so snatchy the throttle in this mode anyway. It's fast, but I'm thinking maybe it doesn't have that extra bit at the top that goes really Bandai on a more conventional straight four. It's definitely got loads of mid-range, but I'm wondering whether it just doesn't kick quite as hard at the top. me O'Reilly. Sound of that Big Bang now. Oh, see what I call the Big Bang. <laughs> I don't think it's referring to the noise it makes. Loads of torque. So much torque there. Perfect for overtaking. Mirrors are very, very good. Yeah, see nicely what's behind you. Don't vibrate too much. The display is lovely. But set right in there, right down in the depths of the front of the bike. But not massive compared to a lot of the new stuff these days, but easy to read. I like that white on black, it's very nice. Brakes, a lot of people complain about the brakes on track, but on the road they're nice they've got a lovely bit of feel to it oh, so snatchy so snatchy for the road it's too snatchy in a mode let's see if i can work out how to get it out of a mode yeah b mode there we go you've got to be stopped to change it by the look of it let's try b see if that's more suitable for road riding up yes <laughs> Look at that, I mean that's minimal throttle input, it just, it's just there, it's like, you, it's like you're just turning the throttle a, a third when you're not, it's like, a, like just turning the throttle a third, even in B mode. Can you change the mode again now? No, you can't, it looks like you've got to be, got to be stopped to change the mode, that's a bit irritating isn't it? Right. 
the seat. Yeah, it's quite hard, the suspension. Oh, this is rough down here. Bloody hell, this is a good test of suspension, I can tell you. <laughs> it's hard. Oh, It seems that it's quite a full-on machine. The R1 is really a full-on track bike on the road, I would say. Doesn't seem to have many of those road-going comforts when you're riding it. Let's have a little walk around. I'm sure you've all seen an R1 before, but let's do it anyway. Anniversary R1. I've always loved these R1s in this Kenny Roberts anniversary. Well, just the Kenny Roberts colours. This is the 60th anniversary one. I think this must be a 2016 bike. 2016 or 2017 bike. I'm trying to think when these came out. It's decatted. Looks like the standard exhaust, but they've decatted it. So they've removed all the cat, cat from the middle. So uh, that's why it sounds so absolutely heavenly. This one's got an aftermarket black, sort of slightly bubbled screen. But they're good looking bikes, the R1s. I mean, you've got a decent seat on them as well. A lovely bit of seat actually to move around on. Pillion seat. I don't much fancy being sat on that though. And you've got those big holes through the back of the bike. <laughs> Little fart extruders. Screen's very nice. You know, this is probably one of the bikes that was on the original TFTs that came out on bikes. If this was a 2016 bike, so the first of the TFT sort of sports bikes, really. This and great job on that one. It's a little bit small by the latest standards, but very easy to read. I like that. Running lights are really nice, but one thing I've never liked is the actual main headlights. These never quite sat right with me. These 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 actual headlights. They look a bit of an afterthought. Whereas the actual LEDs are beautiful, then the actual headlights themselves, not so sure. Brakes are not Brembo's. The Yamaha have always done these, their own brakes, you know? They're not, they don't use Brembo's and people complain that on track, you know, these can fade and they're a weak point of the bike. But on the road, road riding, I've not noticed any problems with them, but uh, obviously on track, that could be a different story. But it's a lovely bit of kit, a very quick look because you've all seen an R1 a million times. That sounds incredible. So there we go, I've finally ridden the Big Bang R1. And it's very nice indeed actually. I like it a lot, but if I wanted a road-based litre bike, I think the GSX-R makes a better road bike. It's less cramped, Certainly if you're tall, like me, I'm 6'2", 18 stone, and this does feel small. A similar size to the RSV4, I would say this is. But my biggest criticism of it is even in power mode B, the throttle is just so snatchy. So snatchy. Certainly on, from just a first ride, maybe you could go to power mode C, Maybe you could reduce that a little bit, but it's almost impossible to maintain a steady speed. I don't know, this bike isn't new. You know, they could have improved it on the new ones, but certainly this one, maybe it's something to do with the D-cat. Maybe this is also flashed. I don't know the history of this bike, but on this particular bike, I could not live with that throttle response, but I could live with that noise. <laughs> oh now, now in town, that weight on your wrist is starting to become a bit of a pain. The pegs aren't too high, which I was surprised. I thought the pegs might be a bit higher. But the peg height is similar to the GSX-R, I'd say. But you're just a bit further forward and the bike's just a bit shorter. But you've just got that bit of extra weight on your wrist and it feels a little bit more cramped. Just feel like Rossi sat. <laughs> on the MotoGP grid. Oh my word. So there we go, back to Wheels Motorcycles. My first little taste of a Big Bang R1. That engine is amazing, it's fantastic. I love what they've done with the power plant, but it's just a little bit snatchy on the throttle and a little bit wristy. A great track bike, no doubt. But here we are, back at Wheels Motorcycles. So if you want to buy a used bike, or a new bike, you do a lot worse than to come to wheels. 
What an epic sounding machine. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> Just can't help it. Incredible.